Hi Darm, this is Colton at North Island Nissan with a quick walk around video on the 2011 Chevy Suburban that we have here on the lot. Now if there's anything specific that you want to see in this vehicle that I might miss out or I don't quite include, just let me know. I'd be happy to make you another video or snap a few more pictures of it for you. But I'll do a good walk around. I did take a look at the interior. It does look like the leather seats are in really good shape. There's no uh, rips or anything that I noticed, but we'll take one uh, last look through together here to make sure. Um, like I said, uh, with our shop inspection, if the tire and the brakes are under 40%. We replace them ourselves, so these ones do look uh, like they are still in good shape here. We'll take a quick look on the passenger side. So the leather is in good shape. No rips on the corner or anything like that. And this is a nice and clean vehicle, and it uh, comes with a lot of features as well, being the LT trim level there. Go to the back seats. Again, no rips or tears that I noticed there. You do get some temperature controls for the back seats as well as heated seats back here as well, which is nice to have for any passengers that you might have sitting back there. Uh, the one crack in the paint that I mentioned uh, when we were talking over the phone is actually right here. So you can kind of see it come down there. And there's another little one right there as well. It does have the tow hitch on it as well as backup sensors. Being a 2011, there's no actual backup camera in it though. They kind of started doing that uh, more common in 2012. We do have the rear seats folded down there. Uh, they just have a little mat back here, which is nice to have because it is carpet underneath that. You do get cup holders for that third row. And then even with that third row folded up, you still get a ton of storage space back here, which is really nice. Well, I'll go on this side real quick just so you can see the leather interior and then I'll hop in the driver's side. Everything's in pretty darn good shape there. So on the door here you have your power locks, windows and mirrors. You do get the heated seats. You can activate just the back of the seat or the bottom and the back as well. Uh, there is two different seat settings as well. So you, uh, if you do have multiple people driving the vehicle, you can get your own settings set up there. And now on the left of the steering wheel, we have our lights on the far left. You do have the auto setting on there, which is quite nice to have. And then here's your 4x4 controls. You can either go uh, too high, automatic, where it kind of activates by itself, or the 4 high is available there. And then looking, I'll grab the key real quick here. So there is a key fob as well as the regular key to start the vehicle. This uh, vehicle does have the remote start on it, so you can start it from outside the vehicle. Uh, that's a very nice one to have in the wintertime. Now I'll start it up here real quick. On the steering wheel, we do have our cruise control on the left-hand side, uh, Bluetooth controls and uh, radio controls on the right-hand side. Uh, you do have one of the pull-down uh, levers there, so it's not a center console one, which means you get a little bit more space in the center console. Uh, these cup holders you can pop up, you can see those little slots right there. So you can pop up, move them around, or get rid of them completely. There is a dual climate control, so you can set a different temperature for each side of the vehicle as well. You're not limited to just the one temperature there. And then the radio controls are pretty straightforward. Uh, I got a bunch of different presets here. You can kind of see the radio stations there that are preset to it. Uh, tuning knob is on the right hand side here, and then your volume is just in the center. So yeah, it's a really nice vehicle overall. It does have a sunroof. There are roof racks up there as well. A uh, large center console. And uh, overall, it's all in uh, pretty darn good shape. So I have sent you the car proof from the shop inspection. If you have any questions on that stuff, just let me know. I'd be happy to, if I don't know the answer, I'd be happy to find it for you. Uh, and I might know the answer off the top of my head as well. And if there's anything specific on this vehicle that you do want to see, again, just let me know. I'd be happy to make you another video or snap a few pictures for you. But I hope you enjoyed this one and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.